G'day everyone. Um, just sort of do a quick video uh, this morning on um, converting um, raw files to a DNG file so that you can import them into um, into Lightroom or Photoshop or whatever um, program you use. Um, the reason why I need to do this is because I've just um, I've just got the new Canon EOS R5 and Adobe doesn't recognize the um, the raw file format yet so you can see on the screen here I've got this preview unavailable for this file when I go to the import screen so um, this is pretty common with um, with new cameras when they get released it takes Adobe a couple of weeks normally to um, to get their stuff together and get organized and release an update so that um, so that Lightroom can um, view the files so that um, the interim way around is um, Adobe have released a, um, a beta version of um, um, Adobe DNG um, DNG converter. Um, so we're going to use that to just convert the um, CR3 um, raw files, which is the new raw file format for the R5. So we'll use that to convert um, the files to a DNG format, which is a digital negative. Um, and that will be um, recognized by um, by Lightroom or other programs, whatever you want to use. Um, so I'll just, I'll just um, open up DNG Converter. So I'll put a link down below to um, where you can download this as well. If anyone's coming up against um, similar issues, um, link to uh, download the, the latest version of this um, digital negative converter. Um, so first thing we want to do is um, select a folder. So <coughs> um, all my files are in this file, um, folder here called CR3 files. So it's actually on my um, hard drive on my computer. Um, so you only have to select um, select the source folder. You can't see the files, but you, as long as you've got the um, source folder selected where your files are, that's all you need. And then you just need to um, select a location where they're going to be um, extracted or converted to. Um, you can either save it in the new location or you can um, um, select another folder. In this case, um, I've got a folder called um, DNG files, so I'll just um, I'll just put them into that. Um, you can also um, change the name or whatever of your files. Um, I normally get Lightroom to do this for me, so I have the um, the date format in front of the document name. But on this occasion, I'm not going to do that because when I because all the um, all the new raw file numbers are going to be unique in the folder that I've got, so I'm not uh, there's no chance of um, any duplication or anything. Um, so I'm just going to leave that at document name, and when I import them into Lightroom, they'll they'll get the um, <coughs> the date format um, placed in front of the, the document name as part of my import process um, into Lightroom. So file extension should be DNG, which stands for digital negative. And as long as you've got the latest um, preference, you shouldn't have to. Oh, one thing you might want to change in here is um, this one down here, embed original raw file. You can actually um, place that inside the DNG file which might be a good idea for later on you can as it says there you can allow allows the original raw file to be extracted later if needed but it just creates a slightly larger file I did um, I did try using Canon's um, DPP software to do this but it created a TIFF file which was about 250 to 300 meg per file so I don't really want to do that um, so but these these um, file sizes should be um, a lot less than that, um, probably under 100 meg, but we'll check that out after. That's all we need to do there, so OK. And then we just um, go to Convert. Shouldn't take too long. Might take might take a few minutes to 
converter. Oh no, it's doing it pretty quick. I guess if you've got a um, a slower computer, it might take a little bit longer. I've got a reasonably fast computer, so it's processing them reasonably quickly. These are just a few random shots that I've taken um, yesterday afternoon when I got the camera. If anyone's thinking of getting the new Canon EOS R5, I could highly recommend it. It's absolutely amazeballs, especially the focusing um, technology in the camera. It's, yeah, it's pretty incredible. Looks like it's just doing the last ones now, so that all happened reasonably quickly. I guess it just adds a little bit more time onto your workflow, but hopefully the update will come um, come in a, f in a few weeks, and then you can just import the you know the recognised files straight into um, into Lightroom. Looks like that's all done now, so I'll just go OK. Is it? If I go into my so there's all my DNG files there now that have been converted. So if I go back to Lightroom now, just have to, probably have to do that again. Oh, if I select the DNG, the files where um, the folder where my files are now, you can see that Lightroom recognizes those files. So I'm actually not going to import these right now because I'm going to select which ones. <coughs> So I think that's about all you need to know. Um, yeah, if you've got any questions, um, I'm happy to help. Um, yeah, click me a comment or send me an email or or whatever. Um, yeah, happy to help where I can. But I'll, as I mentioned before, I'll put the link um, to the new um, DNG converter uh, down below. So check that out, and I hope that helps with your workflow with any new cameras. This applies to any sort of new camera where Adobe haven't um, uh, updated their software yet so it doesn't matter what um, what camera you'll be it'll recognize you know all the as long as the DNG converter recognizes the type of raw file that you're um, that you're trying uh, to convert it's you can use it for any any camera and to convert to a DNG file which is a internationally recognized like standard digital negative file so you should be um, should be good to go in most circumstances. Hope that helps. Uh, catch you next time. Cheers. Bye.